In this tutorial, we're going to look at exporting your photos from Capture One for iPad. This could be something as simple as uh, adding a JPEG to the Photos app on the iPad itself, or it could be adding raw files to the cloud to then edit further in Capture One Pro. So let's get started. I've already filtered this collection of photos down to those with five stars. These are the ones that I want to export. So I'm going to begin by tapping Select and then Select All and you'll see the export icon just up here in the top right hand corner. Now I can choose how I'd like to export those photos. So let's do a JPEG, which is web optimized. I can adjust the quality if I wish, and I can also add a watermark if I want to as well. So let's go ahead and tap export. And once Capture One has finished preparing those, you'll then get some choices of how you want to share them. For example, I could airdrop them, send them in a mail, add them to messages and so on. But let's just save these three photos. So we can see that they've been saved to photos. So if we have a look in our photos app, there we go. We can see those three pictures have been added. Let's go back to Capture One and look at the option for sharing EIP files. EIP files are the raw files, but they also contain the adjustments as well. So if you want to send the raw files to somebody with adjustments or add them to your own cloud storage and pick them up on your desktop. So tapping EIP, once again, I can say export. I could save these to my files or in this case to my Dropbox, but let's save this to the files on the iPad. And I'll pop them in this folder called Iceland and save those. Now, anywhere I can see that file system, perhaps on my desktop, also signed into iCloud, I could then pick up those raw files with their adjustments, import them into Capture One, and continue editing further. But there is an easier way with Cloud Transfer. Let's go back into Gallery View, and we can see the three photos here. So once again, let's select all of these, and we're gonna add them to a new album. And by adding them to an album, I can then add this to the cloud. So I'll hit plus, let's call this Iceland Cloud, and create that album. And then I'm gonna add those photos to it. So we can see I've got these three photos in my Iceland Cloud album. All I need to do now is tap this and say, add to cloud. Capture One will then add them to our own cloud service, for which you can then go and retrieve them on Capture One Pro. Now in Capture One, we need to import those photos from the cloud. If you don't see this cloud transfer icon on your toolbar, simply right click and choose customize. And then drag the icon onto your preferred spot in the toolbar. First, I need to choose the cloud album. If you remember, we created this one, Iceland Cloud. And then choose a location of where to import your photos to. I'm gonna put them in my pictures folder and make a new folder called Iceland. All I need to do now is hit import. Here you can see the photos being imported with the adjustments that we applied on the iPad. If you remember, we added a style on this particular photo, and you'll also see that reflected in the Styles and Presets tool. And now if you want to, you can finish off your editing using the tools in Capture One Pro.